Hey guys, Henning and Morten from, I mean, uh, Marie Kondo and Henning from uh, <laughs> Flip Normals here. So we've licensed out Marie Kondo from Netflix uh, for this special episode. Yeah, don't tell Netflix. <laughs> where we're going to be folding uh, fabrics in Marvelous Designer. So there are a bunch of different ways to fold fabrics. And I wanted to come up with a method that was super fast and mostly reliable. Things are not always reliable when you simulate because things can always mess up. But I think this is going to be the fastest method to fold any kind of fabric in, in Marvelous Designer. So we're also gonna be showing you a second method, which can be good for, for other things, but it, it's a little more complicated, but we're gonna show you that at, at the end. So to start with, I just made this blanket, I guess. Um, the way I approached this was kind of how uh, you would sim it in a real 3D software. It's like you would have a bar to sort of like fold it on. So I just duplicate my my normal fabric. So there's nothing special with this fabric. It's just orange. And then I take this stuff and I just make it small. So we're gonna make like a bar out of this that we're we're gonna simulate our fabric on. So we're just gonna make this super tiny, something like maybe even more tiny. One What's cool about tiny. this approach here is that you're not just talking about this. A magical CG way of doing it. You're thinking about how would you do this in real in real life? Yeah, exactly. Kind of, at yeah, least. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, if you didn't have hands. Yeah, if you didn't you, have hands. And you had a bar. If you had a machine <laughs> and you had to simulate yeah, exactly. and you had to fold fabric. It's basically like having a machine. So we just have this bar and let's move our fabric up. So this bar here, they just share the same fabric. I'm just gonna freeze it. So now um, if we if we just start the sim this is just gonna fall down here, which is exactly what I want. But you can see there are a few issues when you're doing this. So we need to prep it a little bit. What I found works the best is if I actually uh, just duplicate this, let's see. If I duplicate the bar, there we go. Um, this is gonna allow us to just have a little more uh, leeway when it comes to the actual sim because things that are too close together in a sim tend to uh, collapse and explode. And then also I want to start this pretty close to the bar as well. One thing that I've found helped the simulation is if you go to your fabric, your fabric setting, and just increase the thickness. This is purely while we're simming. Uh, we can change the thickness afterwards if we want a really thin fabric in the end, for example, but just upping the thickness a little bit just helps avoid uh, major collision issues. And there we go. So for the first fold, uh, like with any fold, I guess, also in real life, it's kind of nice to be accurate. So the first fold I do, I just uh, use an internal line. You can just press G, that's the hotkey for that, just to find out, okay, where is the center line of this? And then I just, <laughs> it's a little ghetto, just move it into place, figure out where does this actually lie? There we go. And then just hit the Z key for your editing tool and delete that internal line again. And then we're basically ready. So one thing to also keep in mind is the particle distance. The, the, the higher the, the particle number, the lower the resolution is gonna be, which makes it easier for our, our fabrics to resolve properly without exploding. So if we just start the sim now, let's see, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, we're pretty, pretty fortunate there. So any sort of issues that we have like this, we can always go in and let's try and just pull them apart a little bit. There we go. So usually what I do here is I on almost every fold, I'll take the fabric and I'll put it down to the ground like this and then just sim it again. This is just to flatten out everything. And if you have any uh, like, major issues with the fabric like this. You can just sort of pull it a little bit, stop the sim again, and then we just repeat. So you could continue with the uh, with the internal lines if you wanted to, but at this point I don't think it's really necessary. So I'm just gonna go by I here. And you can hold on shift to have the, uh, the transform snap. So if you're rotating or translating, well, I guess, I don't know about translating, but rotation. <laughs> It's also nice with some imperfections as well, instead of it being all mathematically correct. Yeah. You know, if you're folding something, particularly when I fold something, it's all over the place. <laughs> exactly. But maybe not if it's with Marie Kondo. 
yeah, exactly. Then it would be which is me, which is <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we'll just so we'll just repeat this again and take it down. You could you know you could totally optimize this, but having it closer to the ground every time so you don't have to move it as far. But you know, for demonstration purposes, I think this will be fine. There we go. And see, let's try to fold that. And if you if you find out that oh okay maybe my fabric was uh, off to one side too much uh, just undo the the sim and then just move it over a little bit resim it again there we go that's looking okay you can see it takes a while for it to resolve so in those cases that's where it's nice to just use uh, virtual gravity to just speed things up a little bit Let's do that. Oh, another thing to just to note is the further up uh, that you drop this, the more likely you are to get uh, weird uh, artifacts or like weird things that need to resolve. So just um, be gentle with your fabrics. I think that, that that makes the sim process a little easier. It looks about halfway. This is not even close <laughs> to halfway actually. <laughs> Okay, let's just uh, move that in just a tiny bit, something like that, and then resim it. Yeah, like Marie Kondo would say, good enough. <laughs> no need to be exact about this. <laughs> uh, so let's just move this down, and then I'll just do this final one. And keep in mind, the more times you fold it, the harder it's going to be. It's like kind of like a piece of paper. Yeah, like in real life as well. What is it, like seven times or so you can yeah, resim like fold it? like a max or something, yeah. And then once you're at this point, uh, when you have this super nice folded fabric, uh, you can always go in and then tweak your settings. So let's say uh, you wanted the sim to, or your your the sim to be more accurate. You just uh, lower the particle number, increase the particle, de in decrease the particle distance, I suppose, until you 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 find a result that you're happy with. So something like that. All right. Now there's um, there's a different method. To, to doing this as well. Let me just get this back to something like this. And uh, we shall freeze this one, because we need it for later. So the other method of folding, uh, which there's definitely also merit to, it, it just depends on what you're doing, really. Uh, there's not like a right and a wrong way to fold fabrics per se. So. But let me show you this one. And yeah, this method here isn't like the divine method which has been orchestrated. This is just something we <laughs> more than has kind of come up with here. Exactly. <laughs> so um, another method of folding would be, so again, would be relying on uh, the internal lines. Let's just get rid of our little bar here. So if you press G again, get your internal line tool, just hit enter to stop it. Up here you have a the fold arrangement tool. So when you have internal lines like this, if you just click it, you can just rotate the fabric um, and change the angle of the of the fold, which is pretty handy. And just by looking at it, this seems like the better option, uh, the faster option for folding. And it is for a single fold, I think. But once we start to go beyond uh, a single fold, then we run into the issue that, okay, let's say we needed to fold it here, grab our internal line tool again. Now we can't use the fold arrangement tool anymore because now we're folding on two different planes. So uh, this happens. So what you instead have to do with this method is just select the box select tool and select one half of the mesh. And I would uh, just click here close to the center where you want the pivot to be and then you sort of rotate over again. This seems like the better method here, but the issue I find with this is that most of the time, uh, stuff can happen. Like the, the, the fabrics can sometimes have a hard time uh, resolving. Uh, for this fold, I think it's okay, but then now we start to get into where it becomes a little annoying. Now we're gonna have to divide this again. So I'm not gonna be exact here, because it doesn't really matter. So we'll divide it there, we'll divide it up here as well. So now we have to use our brain a little bit. <laughs> this would be fine, I think, if in the viewport you could just select your mesh and it would select everything, but Marvelous doesn't. Um, there might be a way around this I don't know about, That's I'm totally open to that. But for this to work, let's say, let's say it was this side we wanted to select. 
then we have to select this and now we have to select this to select the underside there or the the inside of it so let's see if we can illustrate this so there now the inside is selected and then we can do this again I just fold it over and then we just do this as many times as we want and obviously every time we do this we increase the, com the complexity because next time we're gonna have to do this four times in order to get it resolved um, and the more times we do it, the bigger the chances of stuff messing up. No, uh, that looks fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways around this where if you if you hit the Z key and select one any of your internal lines, you can assist it in the folding by just increasing the fold strength to 100 and then going to either 360 or 0. So 360 is for the fabric bulges out and zero I think is the fabric bulging in so that's just like a quick thing that can help you and then maybe like sewing some of these together uh, but this is really why I prefer the uh, the sort of like more sim friendly method I guess just because it's pretty reliable and it's pretty quick the only setup involved in it is just you got to have a little bar and I think that's 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 worth the cost yeah it seems like the first method is uh, is the easiest one yeah because then you don't have to use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, just to finish this off, um, there we go. We just have this little box here, and then we're gonna take our fabric. So by the way, this is a totally uh, pointless part in the tutorial. <laughs> uh, so you know, if you don't want to see this, that's totally fine. But if you're interested in keeping your house clean, we yeah. highly recommend that you stay until the uh, end. This is tidying up with Marie. With Morton Condo. M Morton Condo, that's the one. So I just made a box and then I was thinking it would be cool if we just took a bunch of these fabrics like this, see there, and then we just start duplicating them. There's not really a point to this. <laughs> I think it, it could just look kind of cool. And I don't even know if the sim is gonna work that well. You can just hit Control C, Control V, and then just place it in, in space somewhere. There we go. Nice. And let's try to sim that and see if it explodes. Oh, I think that's pretty good. So, this is just like Marie Kondo. So it's kind of like you watched an episode of Tidying Up now on Netflix instead of watching a tutorial. There you go. And then what you could always do is you could always just like move the box a little bit. And uh, there you go. Except for that one, that last weirdo on the end there. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's... Um, that's a, a method of, of folding fabrics in, in Marvelous Designer. And tidying up. And tidying up. <laughs> very importantly, tidying up, yeah. With flip normals. Mm. Yeah, we should probably call that for copyright issues. Yeah, we things. should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more Marvelous content in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little notification button to get notified every time we put out new videos.